Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today to show you or to share with you guys what we can produce with my system which is a 1.5 kilowatts for those of you that missed the installation video I'll leave a link down below so that you have more details about my system but the point today is to help you guys to size your system according to your needs and hopefully this video will help you to show how much a system can produce and of course on the place that I live by the way the weather prediction says that today is a sunny day I will put a few images right over there to help you out and with uh, no further ado let's go for it by the way sorry about my looks but I just finished my jogging and I wanted to start this video before my shower from water heated by the Sun so guys half past seven right over here the sun rise at about 40 minutes half an hour something like that and what we can see right over here this is the meter for the production and this is the meter for the consumption of the of my house uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to update a video that I did about these meters uh, regarding using them both for production and consumption and my setup in terms of wires but that for another topic right now we are going to focus on this one which is the production and what I can see right over here is that at this moment we are producing roughly 30 watts which is not that much and really far from our consumption but this value is going to increase uh, and I will be back in just a few moments so that you guys can compare and size your system. Okay, so roughly 8 o'clock in the morning and at this moment we are roughly producing 150 watts. And so just a few minutes later I wanted to show you guys how the curve will increase. It's 6 past 8 and we are roughly producing at this moment 200 watts. 2 past 8 and as you guys can see the values right now is a bit more interesting. 409 watts which is not bad at all at this moment my freezer just uh, started to work so we are almost reaching the same value of the consumption so a quarter to nine o'clock and at this moment we are producing 460 watts so nine o'clock and we are producing at this moment 570 watts so at this moment 18 minutes past nine and we are producing 670 watts, 680 watts at this moment. And here we are for another update, 40 past 9 and we are producing at this moment roughly 800, 820 watts. Now roughly 10 o'clock in the morning and we are getting 940 watts. So half past 10 at this moment and we are producing 1060 or 1070 Watts. And one thing that I would like to mention right now is, as you guys have seen since the beginning, well, when the sun arrived until now, it was really quickly and wrapping up, wrapping up, wrapping up. Right now, it will keep on climbing until it reaches the peak, which will be about noon, as we will have the chance to see. But you will also have the chance to see that these numbers will be growing, but more steadily. So it will not be as abrupt as it has been so far. At this moment, quarter to 11, and we are producing roughly 1,100 watts. And it is noon at this moment, and we are reaching almost the peak, which at this moment is 1,320 watts of production. Now, one thing that I want to share with you guys is that the maximum that I've seen in a day like this, at this moment of the year, was 1,400 watts on my system but I also want to share that in a cloudy day and it happens more than once at this moment I did reduce the peaks that will go up to 1600 and something watts but it's ju just a peak here and there when a cloud goes away and the sunshine uh, comes back and it goes to 1600 and then it will come down to 1000 or 1300 it depends on what we get so half past 12 right now and we are reaching almost the peak this moment we are with 1360 watts hour right over here so 10 minutes to one o'clock and we are reaching very very close to the peak half past one right now actually 25 past one and we are reaching out the peak 1400 uh, i still have hopes that we will have a little bit more but uh, after that it will start to well it will stay and then after that it will start to decrease and we will not reach more than 1400 today unfortunately that's the maximum that i can share with you guys 
Now, what we are seeing right now is 1370 more or less. And what I would like to share is that from now on, we will see a small decrease, small decrease. And then by the end of the afternoon, then a big decrease, like we saw a big increase in the beginning. 20 past two and we're starting to see uh, the 1200 right over here. So we are decreasing as expected. Quarter past three o'clock in the afternoon, of course. And we are right now with an average of 1180. 40 past three o'clock in the afternoon and we are producing at this moment 1100 roughly. Four o'clock in the afternoon and we are seeing 1000 watts. 10 minutes to 5 o'clock and we are producing right now 630, 620 watts more or less. Reaching out 5 o'clock and um, as we can see right now 580. So we still have roughly 1 hour and 39 minutes for sunset as you guys may see right over here. But uh, it's decreasing and decreasing so in no time we will have uh, no production at all. And the day is almost over. We've got roughly one hour and 30 minutes or so uh, to sunset and you guys don't know but today is Friday and you remember in the beginning of the video that I started by saying that my day started running but I will finish the day drinking a glass of wine or beer, it doesn't matter, uh, with the beautiful sunset that I have. And for that I will leave I will have to leave home and I will not leave you guys. I have already set up here a camera that will record the time lapse with this hour and a half so that you guys have an idea of the total production regarding the time and so on and so forth. One more thing that I want to show is the total production for the day. I'm, I'm not sure if I've shown you uh, at the beginning of the day, but we had 128 kilowatts hour produced. And as you can see, we've got now a total of one. 138 kilowatts produced. So this was 10 kilowatts produced today. Uh, if we take a look at the consumption, we consumed roughly the same 10 kilowatts, but I did have some machines working that with high peaks. So I did uh, expand one kilowatt from the grid and the other nine were from solar. So that is great result. And that being said, I'm going to enjoy the sunset while I can. And hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy this video. I will leave you with the time lapse, as I said. And if it's useful, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Berto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.